Okay, so in this video we're looking at solving one-step equations. Uh, this is going back to basics, you've seen this stuff before, but I just want to remind you of where we're headed here. So x plus 5 equals 7. Now the goal here is to figure out what x is. In order to figure out what x is, you need to isolate it. That is, get it on one side by itself. So when you're trying to do that, ask yourself the question, what's there with it? What's, what's stopping x from being by itself? Now in this case, it's the positive 5. Now, I just want to move through this slowly so we can see what's happening. To get rid of that plus 5, what you do is subtract 5 from both sides. So it's going to look like x plus 5. So same as usual. But you're going to subtract 5 from both sides. Now that's going to be x plus 5 minus 5, they're going to cancel each other out, which is going to leave you with x. And x equals 7 minus 5, which is 2. Now, in practice, we probably skip this step. In practice, a lot of us have moved towards something more like this, which is what I would recommend that you're, you're moving towards. Uh, now, let's just look at another question really quickly. x minus 12 equals 32. Now you could do this by adding 12 to both sides. Uh, and that creates that line there and then the next line. Most of us have moved beyond that stage and instead what we think about is moving terms across the equal sign. So if you imagine that line there, you need to take that negative 12 and move it across. Now when you move it across that equal sign, remember the sign's going to change. So in this case, it's going to change from a negative 12 to a positive 12. So my next line is going to look like x equals 32 plus 12 equals 44. Now the most common error here, the biggest mistake that we're making is taking that negative 12 from one side to the other side and forgetting to change the sign. If you're having trouble, if you're forgetting to change the side, don't be scared to go back to this one here. It feels a little more time consuming, but you'll definitely get the right answer that way.